Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's talk about the regulate part first. So we will talk about those organisms which has the ability to regulate. So mostly mo all the mammals and birds, they have the ability to regulate, to adapt to their environment. So when we say regulate, regulate means control. So these organisms have the ability of self-control. Now regulation can happen in two ways. One is called osmoregulation, the other is called thermoregulation. So osmo, the word osmo is derived from osmosis and osmosis is all about water. So regulation of water within our body, so the water content is maintained within our body irrespective of changes in the external environment. When we talk about thermoregulation, thermo is derived from the word heat. So heat has is associated with temperature. So thermoregulation is all about maintaining a constant temperature within our body irrespective of the changes in the external environment. So when you think of thermoregulation, the best example that you can relate to are our, the regulation of our body temperature during summers and winters. So even though the external environment changes, but our internal body temperature is still maintained at a constant value. So let us discuss about osmoregulation. So it is all about maintaining homeostasis of organisms water content. So osmosis is associated with water. So the right amount of water is always maintained inside the body doesn't matter if the water concentration outside is changing. So irrespective of that. So one example where uh, osmoregulation happens and can be very distinctly seen is fishes. So in fishes they have gills and these gills it helps to excrete out the salt and that's how it maintains uh, the right amount of water inside the body of the fish. Similarly if you talk about human beings, in human beings they have the kidneys and kidneys help in osmoregulation. How? By removing all the unwanted impurities in within the body but it also ensures that the right amount of water is present inside the body. So not only the advanced animals, even the lower animals, for example amoeba. Amoeba also has contractile vacuoles and these contractile vacuoles help to maintain the right amount of water content inside the body of amoeba. So amoeba is like made up of just one single cell. So even in, even inside the single cell we have contractile vacuoles especially for the purpose of osmoregulation. So you see all these animals can perform osmoregulation so they can maintain the body itself as a mechanism to maintain the right amount of water content. Now similarly when we talk about thermoregulation it is all about maintaining the organism's internal temperature. So when we talk about this, again the same example I would like to relate here. So it doesn't matter if it is a winter season when the temperature outside is very low, but still our body is able to maintain the constant internal temperature which is somewhere in the range of 34 to 40 degree Celsius. So our internal temperature will always lie within this range. So during goosebumps, some of the mechanisms which help us in homeostasis are goosebumps which um, provide uh, an additional layer of insulation to the body. Uh, the another mechanism would be shivering in cold. So that also provides us warmth. Whereas during summers, sweat can help to keep our body cool. So these are the various mechanisms by which we adapt to changing external weather conditions. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.